We're in a place where the enemy wants to suppress God's people. He wants to suppress the church. And the true church are those who are operating in the Holy Spirit. Those who accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Who have been baptized with the Holy Spirit. Because when you have the Holy Spirit, you have the power. You have the power of Jesus Christ. The same power and dominion that he walked with when he was on this earth. And so these are the true ones who are supposed to be walking. We're supposed to be bringing down principalities. We see... The Lord said in the Bible, we're supposed to be as a city on a hill. As you know, a city on a hill is something that is vast. It's something large and people see it. It's not hidden. We're supposed to light a candle and it's not supposed to be hidden under a bed. It's supposed to be out here, out in plain light to see and illuminating so it can bring light to all the places of darkness. And see the, the enemy, Satan, he's our enemy. He knows that the church is supposed to be bring light to a darkened world. This world is dark because a lot of people are, are blinded by their sin. When you're in sin, you're blinded. You don't know anything about God. So you're blinded because of your sin. You're blinded because of your rebellion. You're blinded because of your hurts and your pains. You're blinded because of all the enticements and the lust of the world, the cares of the world, the riches and the power and, and all the things that are the world. And so what God has done is he's given his people with his Holy Spirit, his true church. He's given us the power. We have the keys. He says, whatsoever you loose on earth should be loose in heaven. And whatsoever you bind on earth should be bound in heaven. This means we have the power because we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. We're wrestling against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness and spiritual weaknesses in high places. We're wrestling against all these things, rulers of the darkness of the world. These are people who are controlling the world. These are, these are demonic spirits that are influencing the behaviors of those who are in authority. And this is why we're supposed to be praying over our cities. This is why we're supposed to be praying over our leadership. We're supposed to be praying over our churches. We're supposed to be praying over our, 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 our government. We're supposed to be praying over those who are in positions to, to make uh, decisions and who are affecting our lives. Because, see, the church has been oppressed. And, see, the people cannot be set free. Those who are truly in bondage cannot be set free when, when the world is being controlled under the dominion of Satan. And see, Satan knows this. this is why he has been sending out things to to bind his people to I mean, to bind God's people to bind the Christ's true church. He's sending out tools to, to bind the church. He is sending out demonic spirits and principalities to attack the church. And these people are suppressed and bound. There are people who are supposed to be coming forth to do a work for God, but they're bound. They're there. They're, they're casting out spirits to cause them to be sitting in the house with depression and mental illnesses. They're casting out spirits to cause them to, to, to be living a life of poverty where they don't have resources. They're putting fear and still fear into them where they cannot move, where they're not equipped to go forward. And if you know in the Bible, it talks about it. In the Bible, that those who are fearful, it talks about it in Revelations. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have to look it up, but it talks about it in Revelations, that those who are fearful, those who are sorcerers, those who are whoremongers, those who commit idolatry, all these people are not going to make it into the kingdom of God. They're going to be cast into a lake of fire and brimstone. It's the second, it's the second death. And so when you are fearful and God has appointed you to do something and you know you're supposed to be doing something, you're supposed to, because we all have a work to do in the body of Christ. We, we, we all have something to do, just like Satan's, Satan's kingdom. His, his kingdom is organized. How do you think so much stuff is going on? How do you think so many laws are being passed that you guys, you, you, it affects the church? When we're talking about, you know, same-sex marriages and things like that, and, and children are, are, are being influenced by all these evil things, and they're allowing things to, to just be, you know, infiltrate, you know, our, our media and things that children have access to, like pornography and all these sinful things. So how, how do you think that stuff goes forth? Because Satan is, is, is using and influencing the minds of those who have not come to Jesus Christ. They're not saved. And so this is why the church is supposed to be praying so that these people can be broken from that bondage and control and dominion of Satan so that these people can, can become saved and so that we're not so pressed that God's message, his true church has a message and a voice. We're on a place where we, we can't even get our, our voice heard on, on places like YouTube where we're using platforms and they do everything in their power to censor us. It's like they, they block our videos or, or they'll, they'll flag our, our, our videos and, and things when we try to speak out about God and this stuff should not be happening because God has given his church the true dominion we have keys and know where we're not wrestling against the people we're wrestling against these demonic spirits like i said that are controlling people we have our tools and resources that god has given us he's equipped us with his word this is our number one power we have his word we have the word we're supposed to utter the word decree things according to what the word in the book is his holy bible says we have the tools of prayer he gives us the ability to pray and we're supposed to be praying in the spirit this is why when you're baptized in the spirit you can speak in other tongues you're supposed to be praying according to the spirit because jesus christ intercedes on our behalf and he knows what it is that we need to be praying for the holy spirit utters on our behalf have. It's like the comforter will say things based on the situation where we might not always know what we need to pray for. We're supposed to be praying for fellow members and brothers in Christ. We're supposed to be praying that the church is loosed from the power of darkness, from the dominion of Satan and not controlled. We are supposed to be fasting. We're supposed to be doing all these things. We're supposed to be praising. We're supposed to be going out here ministering the words to other people. You're not supposed to be sitting here bound and, and, and letting the enemy control your life. And it's like well, the church needs to be coming together and becoming equipped because Satan cannot 
oppressed, suppressed God's church. He says he will build his church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And we're supposed to be praying every day that the gates of hell does not prevail against the church. We're supposed to be praying every day that our brothers and sisters in Christ are loose from the demonic power and control of the enemy. We're supposed to be praying and casting down and binding up all these powers and principalities and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high place that are fighting against God's church.